What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Living the AK Life. Today, we're diving headfirst into paradise, and I mean that literally. We're in El Nido, Palawan, a place that's been on my bucket list for longer than this camera's been in my hand. Crystal clear waters, beaches straight out of a postcard, and food that'll make you want to slap your mama. Well, maybe not your mama, but you get the point. Before we jump into this adventure, make sure you've smashed that subscribe button and hit that bell, like it's asking for a second serving of grandma's apple pie. You don't want to miss a single thing we've got in store for you. First things first, El Nido isn't just about beaches, even though those are pretty amazing. We're starting this adventure off with the big guns, Big Lagoon. And let me tell you, the name ain't lying. This place is massive, surrounded by these towering limestone cliffs, and the water is unreal. Kayaking through here is like paddling through a scene from Avatar, except instead of blue aliens, you might spot a fish or two. Next up, Small Lagoon. Don't let the name fool you, it's just as jaw-droppingly beautiful, but with a more intimate vibe. You gotta squeeze through a small opening in the rocks to get in, but trust me, it's worth it. It's like entering a secret world hidden in plain sight. And for our final stop in El Nido's Greatest Hits Tour, we're hitting Nakpan Beach. This place is the definition of a postcard-perfect beach. White sand, turquoise water, palm trees swaying in the breeze. It's everything you've ever dreamed of and more. All right, let's be real. The beaches are the real reason we're here. And El Nido does not disappoint. We're kicking off our beach bummin' adventure at Seven Commandos Beach. This place is pure chill vibes. Grab a fresh coconut, find a shady spot under a palm tree, and just soak it all in. Next up, we're heading to Las Cabanas Beach. This place is all about golden hour. Picture this. You're sipping on a cold beer. The sun is setting over the ocean, painting the sky in a million different shades of pink and orange. It's the kind of moment that makes you want to pinch yourself. And for our final beach stop, we're venturing off the beaten path to Secret Beach. Shh, don't tell anyone I told you about this one. It's tucked away behind a hidden crevice in the rocks, and it's like stepping into another world. Crystal clear water, powdery white sand, and not a soul in sight. It's pure paradise. All right. All this adventuring has worked up an appetite. Luckily, El Nido is a foodie's paradise, especially if you're a seafood lover like me. First things first, you gotta hit up the local market. They've got the freshest catches of the day, and you can get your seafood grilled right there on the spot. I'm talking juicy prawns, succulent fish, and crabs so good it'll make you wanna dance. And if you're looking for a taste of Filipino home cooking, you gotta try some adobo. It's a classic dish, marinated in vinegar, soy sauce, and garlic, and it's the definition of comfort food. And for dessert, you can't go wrong with some Halo Halo. It's this crazy mix of shaved ice, beans, jellies, fruits, and leche flan, and it's the perfect way to cool down after a long day in the sun. El Nido, you were everything I ever dreamed of and more. The beaches, the food, the people, it's the kind of place that stays with you long after you've left. If you're looking for an adventure, for a chance to escape the ordinary and discover a world of beauty, this is it. Get yourself to El Nido, you won't regret it. And until next time, peace out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on our next adventure. We're out of here.